If you look close enough, you'll find the underlying motivation of practically everything we do is for happiness, for our own and for others. My journey with this music began from my own search for happiness and the desire to do something meaningful with my life, to serve not only myself, but also my family and friends and the whole. As best I could see, the main cause of our suffering and dysfunctional behavior in the world comes from our disconnection. The disconnection from ourself, our heart, each other, nature, and ultimately from the source. I wanted to find a way to help, yet I felt that first I needed to reconnect within myself. From the temple of my heart up to the highest mountain, love embrace all that is and all that could be. I withdrew from society and lived in nature on a community of like minds for many years. When I first heard mantras, I was magically drawn to them with a feeling of deep remembrance. Chanting mantras became my meditation practice and naturally shined through in my music. Heart songs were inspirations of my own inner journey and words I felt that we wanted to sing together to inspire us to reconnect. So the chanting circles developed, naturally shaped for the people by the people. The circle being our symbol of equality, which is our greatest strength. We would gather at our house, and from heart to heart, it grew from there into what it is today. And so, it didn't take long for me to realize that this was my offering, my Dharma, as the invitation started coming from all over the world. I feel that I am supporting a growing movement of reconnection and I find it very inspiring and exciting to be a part of it. We really can find ourselves so deeply entrenched in the stories surrounding our conceptual separate self that we can become a stranger to our own true self, which is always here in the silence of the moment, beyond the thoughts. And after we chant, go wild, sing and dance, we can then sink into that silence together and feel this feeling of home. That's the word I keep hearing from people. It's home. We remember what we already know, but sometimes we've traveled so far from home that we've forgotten that we're lost and mistaken it as normal. To the highest mountain, love embrace all that is and all that could be. As a chant leader, I lead to a place of no leader. 
as best I can, I'm in a state of surrender and listening to the whole and just invite people to participate, to be involved. There's an ancient Chinese proverb that goes, tell me and I'll forget, show me and I may remember, involve me and I'll understand. As I've traveled the world, I get exposed to many different belief systems and religions. From what I've seen, at the heart of all of them is love. That's why we make an altar of the heart shape in the center of our circles. Because it's something that we can all agree on, that we can all believe in. We can't hold or conceptualize love. It comes through us. Emotion is energy in motion. And the more we share, the more we can experience directly. One of the best ways to share emotion is to sing. This is why I feel that the chanting circle is giving the music back to the people from our electronic devices. Giving devotion back to the people from corrupted religions. And giving God back to the hands of the people to redefine and remember from within. We can navigate our way through these times by honoring the great teachings of the past, but also to embrace a new global unity and respect for all, to share what we have in common and to respect, even celebrate our differences, to remember our connection as a way to be present and effortlessly harmonious in this world, for our true nature is harmony. I'm going to leave you with four simple inspirations to take with you. Number one, remember. Number two, don't forget. Number three, do things that make you remember. And number four, don't do things that make you forget. <laughs>